Welcome to the Improve It Podcast. Beep, 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 beep. That's the sound of your alarm going off right when you are supposed to be in your first Zoom meeting of the day. Then after you get to said Zoom meeting with said pajama top on, you hit reply all on an email that is meant to go to one person, but instead goes to several people on your team about the steamy date you have the night before. Cut to two Zooms later, you are off mute and the team happens to hear you yelling at your partner in the other room. Welcome to the Fail Fluencer Files, where we celebrate real work fails with really real leaders. Now, today's episode is short and sweet. It's a mini sewed for a reason, my friends. And for the next few months, we'll be releasing an episode or what we like to call the Fail Fluencer Files as a mini sewed for you. Some will have audio clips, some may have actual interviews, some may be improvised. Who knows? We don't know the exact formula, but we will fail our way through them. See what I did there? So here's what I want you to do. I want you right now to think of your worst failure story. A failure story so big that it would go down in your history book as the worst fail Ever. It's what I like to call your WTF, worst terrifying fail. Did this fail happen at work? Even better. Let's share these WTFs and celebrate them. And you know I like to say fail yeah on this show. And if you are just tuning into the Improve It podcast, welcome. We like to keep it real and fail our way through our life and improve our lives through improv, play, and of course, failing along the way. So the more failing we do, the more frequently we are trying. And that, my friends, is called innovation. It's called growth. Those who never fail, never try. And those who don't get it wrong, never get it right. So let's celebrate the small everyday fails and let's lean into them. Okay, Cheryl Sandberg called, we are leaning in. Now, each week, you're going to hear comical versions of fails that will make you smile, make you giggle, make you cringe, and make you go, ooh, glad that's not me, okay? So to start it off, I thought I would get the ball rolling with my own WTF, worst terrifying fail, for you that happened on this show. (laughs) So imagine a day of all days, you've gotten up late your hair dryer broke, you drop your kids off late to school, you're driving home from said drop off and you spill coffee all over your yoga pants. Okay, the metaphor is over. Jokes out. This was me. I had an awesome podcast interview scheduled with one of the most cool women on planet earth, Rocky Howard. Now, Rocky was recently on the show. Rocky is the chief uh, people officer here at, or I'm not here. I wish she worked here at the mom project. And oh my gosh, Rocky is one of the coolest people. She's the chief people and equity officer. Let me get that right. At the mom project. She is the host of the Voices of Diversity and the Grown Woman Life podcast. She is just one of the coolest people who prioritizes being a voice for diversity, creating high-performing and inclusive work cultures, and advocating for bold, brilliant, badass women. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, got the coolest interview around. Here we go. I'm going to crush this, even though the beginning of this day has just been a real poop shoot. Now, normally. When I come to record an episode for you, I get to my podcast closet, which is, again, a closet, which I've changed into a recording studio. It's very 
minimalistic, although I do have polka dots on the walls if you see any of the show clips. So anyway, normally I come in here about 10 minutes early. I get set up. I put up my $20 ring light from Amazon, my fancy Nancy microphone, and my kids' teal headphones. Mm -hmm. But because this was the day of days, I, of course, come in five minutes before we are set to record to get started and set up. So as I'm logging in to the podcasting platform, I discover that Rocky, being the rock star that she is, is early. And normally I would be like, yes, best guest ever. Thank you. But today was not my day. (laughs) Because today my computer decides it doesn't want to allow my USB drive to work. And that means I can't plug in my microphone. I can't plug in my camera for the interview. And I cannot plug in my headphones. This also means that for some reason, my wireless AirPods will not connect either. So Rocky being the most patient, loving, kind, compassionate, the list goes on human in the world, is patiently waiting for me, the host, to get set up. And again, she is a senior leader at one of the coolest companies, The Mom Project, such a cool organization. She has her own company and her own coaching practice and her own podcast and her own family and about 800 other things she could be doing with her time. And I'm just showing up late with this broken laptop. So I start fumbling. I'm like, chatting with her through Zencaster, the podcast platform we use, telling her I'm so sorry. I call her. I can't talk to her because my microphone won't connect. And she was legit the kindest, most compassionate person. And she said, you know what, Erin, this happened to me a week ago. I was launching something, a course of my own. And my laptop completely broke. So I had to go to Best Buy that day. And I was in the very same position as you. And in those two minutes of giving me that conversation, I just felt my body just relax, my shoulders shrink. But again, I'm feeling like the biggest goober on planet Earth because I've taken her time. And now we're 15 minutes in to when the recording should have happened. So... The moral of the story is I canceled the recording and then rescheduled with Rocky. But of course, I sent her the wrong calendar link. And I only sent her 30 minutes instead of the hour that I usually use to record with guests. And we still did the podcast in 30 minutes. And it was a beautiful episode that you have the opportunity to listen to on episode 138 of this show. However, it was one of the stinkiest fails that I have had in a long time when it comes to recording an episode of this show. My armpits were extremely sweaty. I had to shower. But Rocky was so beautiful and handled the entire scenario with just such grace. And I said, you know what, Rocky, we're going to be friends forever because because this happened. And sure enough, we are friends forever. And I'm going on her platform. She has a LinkedIn live show that she does in the next few weeks. And so we've continued this friendship. And guess what the topic is on that show? Giving each other grace. So that fail turned into this beautiful fail, yeah, because through her grace and compassion and my lack of preparation and just real bad day, we gave each other moments to pause and say we're human beings. So here's what I want from you, beautiful, beautiful, improve it peeps. I want you to think of a WTF. I want it to be worse than mine. I want it to be like the stinkiest Vermonga cheese that you have ever experienced in your life. I want it to smell up your kitchen and make you want to take out the trash. This is your WTF. And what I want you to do is if you're willing, you don't have to say your name. This can be anonymous. Send us a voice note using our SpeakPipe app. You're going to go to learntoimproveit.com backslash podcast questions. We're going to have a link to this in the show notes. 
And it's going to say, send a voice message to Aaron. You st- you hit the little start record button. You can do it from your phone. You can do it from your computer. You could do it from any type of technology that you have. No pressure if you're an iPhone user or Google. We accept both. And leave me your WTF, your worst terrifying fail that you've ever had. So we can talk about it on this show. You can say your name or like I said, it could be completely anonymous, but we are going to celebrate the crap out of our failures. You can share with us the light at the end of that tunnel, what happened. So for my example, Rocky and I became friends. We're going on each other's platforms, supporting each other's work. I think she is a bold, brilliant, badass woman, and I want to continue to support her in any way that I can. That is the silver lining through that fail. But what was your silver lining? And we're going to record or we're going to play, I should say, some of those recordings on some upcoming episodes. So you'll hear commentary from myself. I'm going to bring on some amazing Improve It team members who can help give commentary and just talk about our failures. Because you know what? Celebrating failures is actually one of the most freeing things I've ever allowed myself to do as a fail fluencer. One of the keynotes that I love doing is called F Words, F is in Frank, at work. And let me just tell you, HR, there's no swearing. There's a lot of swearing in the windows, but I don't do it. And it is an opportunity for us to look at our failures and reframe them. It is one of the most liberating things that I've ever done for myself as a professional and as a leader to really lean into this idea of failure. We're human beings. We are human beings, not human bots. And we all make mistakes. And so mistakes happen when we are out there putting ourselves out there. So what I want more than anything in this world is for you to feel that freedom for yourself. I want you to experience that joy. And if you don't want to send a recording because you're like, somebody will know that's my voice, even if it's anonymous, that's a-okay. I want you to write about it. I want you to journal about it. I want you to just think about your WTF moment right now because that freedom that you are giving yourself is actually allowing you to fail forward and to grow. And that's what this show is all about. So friends, the Fail Fluencer Files, step one, if you want to leave us a recording, you're gonna go to the link in the show notes or learn to improve it.com backslash podcast questions. Step two, you'll scroll down, you'll see a little red button that says start recording. Leave your story there. You can say your name or you cannot say your name. That's step three. And that will just send the recording directly to our email and we will take that recording, listen to it, and hopefully incorporate it into an upcoming episode of the Fail Fluencer Files. So again, step one, go to the show notes, go to learntoimproveit.com podcast questions. Step two, hit start recording, record your WTF. And step three is it will send it directly to us. If you're not going to do any of those steps, I hope that today's show provided you with some comedy, some refreshment in your brain, if you will, and an opportunity for you to see yourself as a failfluencer. Because, my friends, you know what I am going to say. I want you to keep failing. I want you to keep improving because this very special world that we are living in needs your very special it. And it's only the it that you can bring. So let's improve it by failing through it. See you next time. Hey, friend, did you enjoy today's show? If so, head on over to iTunes to rate and subscribe so you never miss an episode. Now, did I mention that when you leave a five-star review of the Improve It podcast, an actual team of humans does a happy dance? Mm Mm-hmm, that's right. So leave a review for us on iTunes, screenshot it, and send me an email at info at learntoimproveit.com. I'll send you a personalized video back as a thank you. Thanks so much for listening. Improve it, peeps. I'll see you next Wednesday. <laughs>